and welcome to a new episode of the event. I'm Crystal and today I'm at Sky City to report Miss Universe New Zealand 2018 final night. Today I'm going to chat with contestants, organizers, guests who would be here at this event. Let's go and find out more about this event. Thank you. Yeah, love it. Thanks. Was it your first time being part of this Miss Universe pageant? Yeah, yeah, first time watching it. So it's really interesting, really exciting. Yeah. And who are you supporting tonight? We aren't supporting anyone in particular, but just we've had a few favourites that we've been told about. So yeah, just yeah, a few little side favourites of our own. enjoying it so much. It's actually really interesting to watch how this pageant works. So was it the first time being part of this universe event? It is. I've never seen a pageant ever before so this is a really interesting experience. So who are you supporting tonight or just um, having fun? I'm just having fun but I'm here to support Kathy Organics who's the platinum sponsor. How are you feeling tonight? Excited, looking forward to see the, who's going to be the finalist, even though they all look beautiful. Oh, that's great. Who are you supporting tonight? I'm supporting uh, Melania Tyran, and she is or originally from um, Armenia. And, um, and she's really beautiful. I just love all of them, but she, I think she's standing out really well. So was it a first time being part of this Miss Universe event? Absolutely, yes. It is the first time and I'm very happy that I'm in it this year, you know, watching it. Yeah. tonight did you enjoy the show I absolutely did I this is probably my third or fourth year of attending Miss Universe New Zealand I am a huge supporter of pageants because I believe it helps women find their voice and helps elevate them to an international stage where they can really shout the praises of how wonderful our country is so it's always a pleasure coming to these events and seeing these young women becoming so confident and articulate and yeah, I celebrate their success and I love the show, it's always great. What message would you like to give to the girls who would like to join the pageant? If any girl is considering being part of any pageant, whether a big one like tonight's pageant or, or a, a small one, just to get them started, everybody talks about the fact that it, it's the journey that is important. I absolutely agree. I, but the most important thing I, I believe in it is this experience is it's about understanding who you are your uniqueness and being proud of that uniqueness and really sharing that with the world because there's only one you and no one as Dr. Sue said no one is youer than you and that's really what makes the world so fabulous celebrating diversity celebrating uniqueness and celebrating the fact that beauty is actually an inside job and so if you're considering if you're considering being part of any pageant do it it's life-changing and I absolutely believe that you, you watching right now, you are magical and amazing. So give it a go. This is when you have to pinch yourself. Is this really happening? 
Yes, this is it, my moment. Thanks to world-class training, I now have the skills, knowledge, and a recognized qualification to turn my passion into a career. So tonight, it's for real, and it's just the start. When I can proudly say, I am a professional makeup artist. by you since as possible it's just you have to put it in your head and do it you can do anything so that's what I learned you did well and thank you for your time you're an amazing girl thank you congratulations for winning the Miss Universe New Zealand title how is it feeling when you announce the winner well, um, it was just so overwhelming for me. I actually had no idea that it was going to be me. Um, I put a lot of dedication and effort into this journey as a lot of the other women have. Um, but I'm so, so proud of myself that I am the winner. So it's fantastic. I feel so incredible. So how was the journey so far in Miss Universe New Zealand? 
it was an incredible journey. Um, I think it's so underrated. Uh, women don't actually realise how fantastic this opportunity is. Uh, you make 19 beautiful best friends. Uh, they're all motivated, dedicated, wonderful women. And um, you get to have a real experience. We went to Thailand. We got to just be immersed in the culture. Um, we've had dance rehearsals. And, and, and it really puts you outside your comfort zone and things you'd never even think about doing before. And if, and my motto is kind of, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. And that's where I, that's where I want to be. I want to be always growing. So I really loved the opportunity to be a part of this competition. Now you're the winner of Miss Universe. So what will you do with their title for next year? Uh, there are a lot of things that I want to do. Um, I just want everybody uh, to know how fantastic this competition really is. I think a lot of people get put off by the title pageant and it's not a classic pageant. There's no cattiness or anything like that. It's actually a, such a great journey and to actually promote that to women so that they understand what this, uh, this Universe New Zealand competition is about, I'd really love to do that so that more women can have this experience and actually get a lot of value from it. I'm with Nigel Godfrey, the Director and CEO of Miss Universe New Zealand. How was your night tonight? Well, as you can see, I've changed. Uh, I'm kind of in a zone of kind of relaxation. It's a long journey because it's not just about the one night. You know, it's not just about the, the pageant that you see on stage. It's a long journey for 20 contestants and then before that a whole load of semi-finalists and this is just the culmination of it. So I guess I'd say I'm maybe retired. Could you please tell us about Miss Universe? What is this about? Well, Miss Universe obviously is a, is a show where um, a number of young women all over the world come together and, um, you know, getting involved with doing a lot of things. We do a lot of fundraising for Variety, the children's charity. We take the uh, girls, the, the women away on retreat. Um, so it's about a journey. It's about them learning a lot of stuff, uh, learning to be entrepreneurial, learning to give as well as to receive. And I guess the biggest thing with Miss Universe is they, you learn that, that how much you put in is kind of how much you get out. What advice would you like to give to girls around New Zealand who would like to join beauty pageants? Ah, uh, well, you know, join ours. Uh, no, look, there's a lot of pageants. I think one of the biggest things with a beauty pageant is you, you really got to look into what you're getting into. It's all about just doing something. Some girls play netball, some go and play hockey, um, you know, some play badminton and, and some dance and some sing, and some join pageants and really enjoy it, enjoy the camaraderie and enjoy being involved with, um, with a lot of other young, similar young women. Thank you, Nigel, and have a good night. It's Thank a you pleasure. so much. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the event. If you have any questions about Miss Universe New Zealand pageant, then visit their website on nextmissnz.com. You can watch the other episode of the event program on our website www.tv2.com.au. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. See you soon with the next episode of the event.